buying supplements can be tough, but you know, a little bit. The idea is working, but he needs to grow it. Thanks so much, guys. First meeting done. My brain was about to melt through that one. Y'all, I am not good at long meetings. And here we are. So you're saying that's bluer. This is more black. It needs to be more gray and not as dark. We tried this one. That one looks pretty solid. Fuck that one. Okay. Don't you? Yep. So we're kind of going to take this room by room, starting with my office, which is upstairs, and then Shane is going to have an office downstairs right when you walk in. And we're going to start by painting those rooms because, you know, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. So downstairs, the plan is to paint this foyer entrance room uh, like kind of a dark gray because we have this trim that goes all the way up to about five feet. And we can just paint above that, which will still make this room look pretty light when you walk in. It'll give us a nice accent room. And then Shane's office here, we're gonna paint uh, more of a neutral gray, kind of like the standard gray that you would have in, in almost every edit suite. The rest of the house is gonna be a lighter gray. Upstairs, here in my office, we're gonna be painting this, kind of uh, that same neutral gray. Both rooms are gonna have a full wall of panels for sound deadening. And then we're gonna do other sound panels uh, and sound clouds up top, which should be pretty sick. So at this point, the walls are painted. Uh, we actually went with a color from Home Depot called Elephant Skin, and I, I love this color. It's a neutral gray, slightly warm, so it doesn't feel too stark or too cold to live in, but it doesn't feel warm at all. A good neutral ground to balance the eyes when color grading, for sure. And at this point, I'm trying to figure out the acoustics in the room. Now, when you're trying to sound design, acoustics are very important, because an empty room sounds like an empty room. Frequencies just bounce everywhere. Uh, they create new frequencies and muddy other frequencies. And then you show a video on another system and it sounds crazy and you're like, why is this happening? I did this extremely crazy abstract thing with the foam panels on this wall behind my desk. Let me flip this around. It's kind of insane, but it's, it's also kind of amazing. It's definitely effective for helping this back wall not reflect my voice when I usually have the camera here when I do tutorials and then I'll have the microphone kind of coming out here and pointing down. I honestly know very little about acoustically treating a room, but what I try to tell myself is, Marcel, try to use acoustic panels to decorate your space. And that way, it should look good and sound good. 